Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you how to place a rabbit family by using Dynamo. So it's going to be just a simple thing actually, but I want to just create two lines over here, for example, and we will place some sort of a tables maybe on these lines. I know in this case, you know, this is, isn't necessarily the most efficient way to place a rabbit family because you can do it way much easier by using just Revit. But, you know, by going through that process of building a dynamo graph, uh, we will, we'll, th that will be some sort of a foundation, from foundation, like some sort of a foundational skill that we will build upon to, uh, to create some more complex families, right? Uh, so our goal is to place some tables on these lines. So how can we do something like that? Let's launch Dynamo. Let's wait for a minute. Go with new. And first things first, you need to understand what you want to create here in Dynamo. Uh, so my goal is to create a family instance, right? So it's going to be some sort of a family instance. So in that case, you need to go to Revit. You need to open that, uh, expand that Revit branch. And here you have your elements. So you click on elements and here you can find family instance. So we will start with the thing that we want to end up with actually. So that is going to be our final result actually. So let's find it here. This is uh, the options that are given you. So actually the options how you can uh, how you can create that family. You can create that by coordinates, by phase, by point. In my case, I want to create that by point. <clears throat> but in here, uh, as you can see here, we need two things. We need family type and point. Uh, the first one, it'll, it'll be really simple. You know, when it comes to selecting and grabbing some uh, something from Revit, uh, so you will be able to select that in Dynamo, you need to go to the selection tool so let's kind of collapse this menu and uh, find your selection. And here you have the option to, uh, actually that is all of the options that, uh, that will enable you to have, to get to pull some information of Revit. So for example, in our case, I want to have family type. So it's going to be all elements of family type. Or actually in our case not, it should be just family type in our case, yeah. So here you have the option to select some of your families. So you have all of the families here. Maybe that desk will do, I think, in our case. So so that was that that is the thing that I was talking about. If you want to select something from Revit, you need to use the selection command. And uh, so here we go, we have our family type, we can wire this up and uh, uh, the next thing what we want to do is to uh, understand where to put it so actually we could easily go with point you can find it over here by searching here point uh, you have by coordinates as you can see here but that is not gonna work for us the main reason being for this you you don't want to calculate the points of this because it's going to be so cumbersome that you're gonna make it, it's gonna be really, it's not gonna be viable and feasible actually. So what we need to do in our case is to figure out how can we select uh, two of these lines, how we can select two lines, uh, these two lines. So we need to go to the search and here you can type in element.curve and here as you can see you have curves Actually, curves, um, Dynamo perceives, uh, perceives curves as some sort of a, even if it's a, just a simple line, because it has uh, the beginning, it has the end, and it connects with the line. So that is the point of curves in Dynamo. That is the way how Dynamo discerns and, and perceives curves. So, but if you want to see uh, the location of it, you can simply click here on element. And here, as you can see, the location of it, the path of it. So 
there it is curves and how you can find it you need to go to Revit you need to open up element you need to open up element and here you go here you have your curves so you when you select your curves you have you have element and uh, you have your curve so in that case what we need to do is to have some sort of elements this will be two of these lines right and then we, we need to uh, add, uh, attach these to some some curve so how can we select these two as I told you before uh, if you want to select something from your Revit from from Revit you need to go to the to selection so let's collapse this menu go to the selection here you can find select mod you have select model element and select model elements in our case I want to go with elements because there are two of them and you can easily go with select and it expects you to have this cross selection something like that and there you go you have your elements ID actually um, if you go to manage and here you have your select by ID and if you type this number over here select by ID it will highlight this element so okay we have our elements we can wire this up uh, but now we have just a curve right so we have element and we have curve but let me show you what I wanted to do actually now we needed to have some point because the, the whole the whole thrust of it is to have some kind of a point and connect it here so to have these elements and I want to be I want to uh, kind of connect all of these to my point so let's go to curve uh, let's go to geometry curves curve and here as you can see this is all of the options that we have to create some curves and here as you can see we have a lot of our points and we have point at segment length and point at parameter and a lot of them I want to use this point at parameter so there we go we have our <clears throat> point at parameter so now we have the uh, per perfect chain actually as you can see we have our element we connected that element to the element curves and then we, we connect that curve to our curve and as you can see it highlights these first points because it has a default uh, because it has some sort of a default value here uh, <clears throat> the next and as you can see here we have your list of two uh, of two items as you can see this one uh, th that one and that one so now we need to determine the parameter uh, and kind of as you can see the output here is point so that is the perfect that is perfect for us so we can determine the parameter and connect that to the point and that'll help us connect our kind of not even connect but to place our to display our tables so uh, you can create a parameter by using if you hover over it as you can see it it says double double is just a computer programmer speak for a number with decimal uh, points uh, so you can use here number or you can find it search for it like that number but what I prefer using is actually we have some sort of a sliders so you can again type your slider uh, and again if you want to see the, uh, the path of it you can click here I'm not gonna do that right now uh, so you can type not number slider but <clears throat> it's not gonna work actually it's going to work if you just connect these two but let's say we want to have some um, to add some versatility uh, let, let me show you what do I mean by that so if you go here and type something like range uh, range if I his you, you can see this range command uh, oops okay range and uh, you have your start and and step so for us it's gonna be really uh, it, it's it just the way how you can create multiple of these so you, you don't want to have just one number you want to have a lot of them right so how can you do something like that in our case because I've I, I I've chosen the parameter uh, 
this is our zero, that is our one. So our start should be at zero, our end should be at one. And uh, if you're familiar with conceptual massing and uh, normalized curve parameter in Revit, it's gonna be really simple for you because uh, that is actually uh, how that parameter works there. And the same goes for this one. So that is, that is zero, that is one. So we can have our start at zero and our default value is at zero. Our end is at nine. So you wanna change that to, uh, so let's type your number, oops, number, go with one and wire this up. And then we have our step. So our step will actually determine how many uh, do we have of these, how many lists do we, how many items do we have. So for example, if your step is one, you're gonna have just two of them. And the main reason for the main reason being for that is your start is at zero, your end is at one. Uh, so and your step is one, right? So if you go with the step of one, you just have two of them at zero and at one. And uh, if you kind of have this number slider and you expand this slider have minimum maximum and step so I can change even to zero here here I can change to 0.5 for example maximum and our step you can make it really small if you want to have you're gonna have a lot of tables okay let's change something like that so you, ha you have these sm small increments as you can see and uh, if you wire this thing to step and kind of make them as you can see as you move that to the right and make this step bigger, uh, the less you will have of these items over here. So if I make like 0 0.05, we have a lot of them. We have 21 of them. Why 21? Because we start, we start from zero all the time. So now you can simply uh, join this uh, sequence to your uh, parameter actually yeah to your parameters it will be our parameter and uh, oops and you can connect this point to here uh, now you'll have just two tables actually and uh, I think it's it's kind of a topic of uh, one video I'll, I'll make this video about lacing but to make a lot of them you just need to right click here go to lacing and you have cross product and you have and you have a lot of them uh, I think I will create a video about lacing so you, you'll understand that uh, so I'll be able to talk about that more coherent so coherently and uh, yeah and there we go we have and that is totally parametric so you can change the numbers of it uh, it, it perfectly works with some sort of a trees when you have some curves like that and you kind of can, can place exactly where you want these trees or something else uh, so that's the way you can uh, place your families on <clears throat> place your rabbit families by using dynamo uh, that's it for today thank you for watching uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and have a nice day.